Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you or guide you to become a better person. Productivity is one of my favorite things to talk about and today we're going to tackle on being productive without motivation. The two key points to being productive is number one, you have to be disciplined, self-disciplined. And number two, you have to have the correct mentality. Here are five ways that I've gathered uh, that has helped me become a more productive person even when I don't have motivation as long as you have determination you will be able to do it just two days ago I was feeling extremely overwhelmed over the things that's currently on my plate uh, school, work, money, wedding, everything you know like just seem to have piled up in uh, in the speed that I feel like I'm unable to catch up. So I gave myself 10 minutes while I'm taking a shit. I know you guys are picturing it now, but I took that time to dismantle my overwhelming wave of thoughts to see how I can approach each problem that I saw as a problem at that point in time. I'm going to give you guys an example. I was thinking of taking a semester break, which is about 4 to 6 months. So that's quite a long period of time and I thought about how it would affect me in terms of my life uh, timeline or planning if I do decide to take the break. There was a moment I thought to myself like why am I still studying? I, 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 I didn't need to study anymore. The reason why I took this course in the first place is because I want to learn about law. I'm interested in the legal field and I want to know more. I'm grossed out by the fact that I was considering to take a break when I'm not supposed to because initially my plan is to take a semester break if uh, I get pregnant, you know, uh, after all the wedding stuff. So right now, taking a break is out of the question. It is not something that I should even think about. In the moment of weakness, I came to realize that yes, I was overwhelmed. That's why I had this thought. But it is also my laziness giving way. Because I have to admit, like, I did think about how free I am to make YouTube videos, to blog, and to sleep, to watch Netflix, and all that stuff. If I just say that I deserve this break when I don't. And before you feel overwhelmed, you know what you feel. You feel unmotivated to do anything at all and you procrastinate. So this is the video to address that. That feeling you get before you feel overwhelmed wanting to give up or wanting to take a break when you're not supposed to. Number one is to disconnect yourself. Put your phone on silent. Again, this has something to do with discipline. So if you're not self-disciplined enough, this is not going to work because I I noticed that deleting the app that you want to avoid doesn't work. My phone is always on silent and after 8pm is on do not disturb. So this has helped me a lot in, you know, uh, not getting distracted. If you don't have the habit of putting your phone on silent, you got to tell yourself not to check the phone every few minutes because... Most probably, you didn't get a text. You just wanted to check to make sure. So don't. Number two is to think about the consequences. This is common sense. The longer you drag, the more you put it off, the lesser time you have to work on whatever you need to do. And think about the sense of fulfillment or achievement after you complete it and you can watch your Netflix show in peace or you can go shopping in peace without having those pending tasks in the back of your head, that would be a great feeling. Third on the list is to sleep well. Even if you don't clock in enough sleep hours, you have to find time to rest. Being well rested or having a good night's sleep is going to really help you mentally in terms of focus concentration, and your overall mental and physical health. Number four is to make use of your calendars 
and or or set reminders. I have tried a ton of apps but I always come back to the calendar that is on my iPhone. And because I have it synced to all of my Apple devices, I can edit, add, remove, whatever and however I like. Last but not least is to stay organized. Digitally, which is like your calendar or your to-do list or your uh, reminders, alarms, anything that you have stored digitally and obviously you have to stay organized mentally as well because what will happen if you don't you will get overwhelmed on less hectic days you can go through your devices to sort out or update your uh, tasks or calendar or just anything else and that is how you stay organized okay okay that's all I have for this video. I hope this helped in a way or the other. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr and all the different places will be linked in the description box below. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day or night. Bye!